What is going on guys? DBG here. Today we have got a really, really interesting gameplay. And this is with a player that a lot of people are going to be not really that hyped about. But I think he's a freaking beast. I think he's a beast. I think he can compete at any level in this game. Like, I think there are a lot of fun players in my team. I think there are a lot of ones. There are a lot of really good players. And this year, more so than ever, there is more usable players. Like, you can use Herder, Luke Kennard. You can survive with those guys. There are more usable players this year in my team than ever before. And I do want to say it as a positive. And that's one of the things that, like, I will always say it about 2K23, my team, is I think it does the most right and it does the most wrong. There is, like, a, a double... It's kind of a double-edged sword. It's like, I think this game mode has the most bad things and the most good things. And the issue with a game that has a lot of bad things is a lot of times those bad things can frustrate players into not playing. But, but, let's take a look at this man right here. The Porter Jr. fella. The Kevin Porter Jr. fella. The 6'6 six, six point guard with like blinders, clutch shooter, guard up. He doesn't really play much defense. He's got clamps, but he's got bully. Doesn't play much at all. But he's 6'6", great three ball, good driving dunk, solid-ish perimeter defense, just don't have him guarding ball, good speed speed bomb acceleration, and not the worst lateral quickness. Just put him guarding a small forward. Put him guarding the other team's cone. He's more than capable of guarding the other team's cone. And that's basically how you have to use him. But if you can do that, you've got your extra height at that point guard position. You've got one of the best releases in the game in terms of just pure catch and shoot. One issue I have with him... It's the Pro 3, it's, I think it's Pro 3 leaner. That if you're looking for a primary ball handler, the issue with the primary ball handlers in this game is that like, when a primary, when you uh, are creating with a ball handler, um, there's no quick stop this year. So you probably want, uh, what you call it? You probably want them to be able to fade. Because if they can't quick stop, they gotta be able to fade. The issue with the Pro fades, especially from the wing, Pro fades fine in the corner. And like, again, normally fades don't matter on bigs that much, but fades obviously do matter for wings. Pro fades not even bad from the corner. Like if you're in that position there, the pro fades fine. The issue is, is that if you're trying to get some space, he a lot of the time will go into weird, get weird animations or will step way out further in the three point line. So it's just not uh, consistent. In terms of jump shooting, I think anywhere from around here, he'll be able to hit pretty consistently. And the big thing with KPJ though, is that he is a dunker. He is a dunker. He is a 6'6 dunker. Shoots uh, shoots the damn lights out and is a 6'6 point guard. Like, you're not getting... There's no even budget 6'5 point guards. Other than, like, maybe, if you want to argue, Ruby Magic Johnson. But he is a 6'6 guy that can compete. He can legitimately compete. Like, Shea Gilles Alexander... Would I rather pay Shea, uh, 30k for Shea Gilles Alexander or 2k for him? Maybe. Or um, probably Shea. Who's better, him or Fultz? Uh, Fultz. But I would actually say KPJ is probably... He might be better. If you don't like using Stockton, and you're a new player and a budget player, and you can't afford Shea Gills Alexander, or you want to spend your MT elsewhere, running him with Fultz are two perfectly fine point guys to use. So anyway, now let's go in three. And now we're going to get on to the game. We finally got used to his release a little bit. I'm watching Leeds against Newcastle. We better freaking win. We better freaking win, lads. I'm wearing... Nobody can even read this this t-shirt. All leads, aren't we? Marching on together, side before self, self every time. Um. Okay, so we're gonna go with KPJ at the one. I'm gonna use Lou, Lou Albain's gonna be probably my primary. And then Sim Nation. I'm gonna probably use another center, purely because going to the bat, I'm gonna have to run a lot of pick and rolls. Uh, who do I like at the five? Oh, Chris, that's what am I talking about? I still think he's the best center in the game. I think. But I much prefer Chris Apps release to uh, D Rob. Like, T Chris Apps my favorite, even though obviously D Rob is objectively a better card. No way fans are buds about it. Like, D Rob's a better card. Hopefully, we can find the game in the first like minute or two. It's like, it is Saturday. You'd be thinking we'd be grand, wouldn't you? You would think that we'd be completely fine. But, uh, yeah, Leeds are, Leeds are an off, are a weird team. They're a weird L team to watch, aren't they? Okay, we're fine to get, we, are, we have a game right here. Let me move my screen so I can keep one eye on Leeds while I cook somebody with KPJ. Hell, D, DBG sucks, DBG's awful at this game. Watch me light it up while barely even watching the game. 
I mean, I better light it up against this guy. <laughs> I really better light it up against this guy. Okay, we're good. We're good. Give me that. Okay. Um, he is not guarding anybody. KPJ for four, I think. Oh, you know what? It's just a bit too deep. Unreal. Those animations are hilarious. Okay, so he can green, he can shoot through the uh, contest, which is good. Nice move. That move. That um fake. Oh my god, he missed the layup. That like kind of fake behind the back into like the kind of dribble where you kind of loops their arm around. That glitches the AI every single time. That literally glitches the AI. Which is a good, which is a like huge thing. Um you saw that there by KBJ. I don't know how to do it. I need to learn how to do that as far as um game goes. That move where again where they kind of tend to put it behind their back and they end up not even putting it through like back their life, just kind of wrap their arm around and then move it forward. Because it glitches the AI. Did he just walk into the he just walked into the backcourt? Right by him. Jamming on him, KPJ. And you know what? Great animation. Almost an arm one right there. And good save by Melier. Oh, we break the free throw. It's fine. It's fine. Let's concentrate. Free throws are one of those things in the game where it's like, if you concentrate, you'll make everyone. We're there. Good. Bam, bam. Come on. I really like Bam in a bio. He's just not an offensive option. <laughs> He's like, his offensive game is just to stand there and shoot. Someone like a Ty Debo relies on defense will be able to show you what Bam can do. For me, it's like Bam's just kind of there. Um, okay, let's get a dang. Quick pop, I guess. A wrong icon. What is he? What is he? Is he player locked? Is he player locked? I think he might be player locked. Why is somebody AFKing in clutch time? He's player locked. Yeah, he's, he's completely player locked. What? I don't think I've ever seen somebody do this in close time before. Like, there's no benefit in any way to him losing this game, so. CPU Dame just did that to me? Alright, we have to play. Well, let's play him like he's playing. Let's just ignore Tom Chambers and let's just assume we're like basically playing like we're playing the AI. There we go. Nice job getting open. Nice shot. Pro dribble style is one of our underrated dribble styles. He's not good. It's not great. Don't get me wrong. Like as far as point guards go, it's a, uh, it's one of the worst ones you can get. But it's not that bad. Like dribble styles are not the be all and end all this year. Like they would have been in other years. Leaner. Okay, if he'd hit that, that would have been nice. He does. He's hard to contest. Okay, we're good. Get that block. Good, KP. Oh, I wanted to run the break there. That's fine. Okay, again, we're going to... Should we just abuse Dame's lack of clamps with our clamp breaker on him? Oh, my God. Okay. I see you, KPJ. That was impressive. Okay, KPJ on the break. No. Oh, oh, I don't I don't know why I tried to post him there. Steal. Um You know what? Let's put shoot that. Good shot, KPJ. Okay. Okay, I see you. And he's gone. He's gone. KPJ. More than solid, lads. A more than solid player. Really freaking good. Um He's a player that I'm, I'm super, super happy about this guy. I actually think he's one of the better cards in the freaking game. I think the guy is... Give me Gerald Wallace. I really wanted Gerald Wallace, man. I got Rex. I, I don't want the three trophy super packs. They're trying to get me to do the damn trophy case. I accidentally got a centerpiece yesterday. Um, and by accidentally getting a centerpiece, like... I went on centerpiece strike, but I accidentally collected 950 cards. I have like five of those three super packs there, but like 
If you're looking at KPJ, you are looking at a guy that is a different type of player. He's a different type of player to a Rose or a Stockton. I'm not going to say he's better. I'm not going to say he's worse. Defensively, he's very, he's way better than those guys. It, dep it depends on who you're playing against. So as far as point guards go, look, Shea, better than he, I would say at the level of a DeJounte. I'm not going to say they're different players. They're so different. But I would say in terms of impact, when you take into account both offensive and defensive impact, I would put them at a similar level. Oh my God, Willie Nanto's the best player. In oh, I thought Nanto would just put uh, Harrison through. Willie Nanto's the best freaking player. He's going to be the best player in the world by the looks of things. What he's doing at Leeds. Man, we've, I've never seen anything. I haven't seen anything like it in years, man. And Nanto fellas the damn best. But, um... Yeah, so KPJ, honestly, just try him out. Just try him out. On, like, if you, especially if you are a budget player or you just like using new cards, he will not only survive, he will compete. Like, guys like Herder and Canard and Evo, um, Headband Man, will survive. But you're, you're kind of, you're, you gotta be screwed using them. They just kind of survive out there. Whereas KPJ will compete at pretty much every level, especially if you're playing a good player locking. So anyway, that's the video. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.